Simon at 92.1 WROI, and it's a Friday morning, and it's time to go across the console and welcome Amy Rowe to the studios of the Fulton County Chamber of Commerce. How are you? I'm doing great, Baron. How are you? Fine. What's going on in Chamber World these uh, days? Well, you know, uh, just a, a, a little bit, if you will. I, I just got back from vacation, which was kind of nice. I had a, unfortunately, I had a broken elbow, and... Yeah, you went to a rugby tournament, and yeah. you single-handedly tried to win the game, and it just didn't work out for you. Yep, and, you know, Mayor Ted Denton said that, you know, I was his bodyguard, <laughs> and that somebody tried to actually hit him. Is that what I jack-slapped them. I did not fare so well, but he did. Yeah. I had to take the heel because and, you know, take him out, but that Mayor didn't... Denton's at the top of everybody. <laughs> Priority list. I mean, there's so many stories, it's amazing. I love it. So, but it's healing well. Uh, well, good. I, yeah. yeah. So I still get to wear the gala dress, and uh, we, we probably are going to try to cover it. But, you know, oh, never a dull moment in our world. But I got to go on a little vacation, had a great, you know, I've been having uh, my team members step up to the plate and really help. So I'm very appreciative of that. So Excellent. we have a gala tomorrow, yeah. which is crazy that it's already here. Uh, it's at the Jackson Estate. Okay. Uh, the fun starts at 6 o'clock. We have just a couple tickets left if people still <coughs> want to go. If they have uh, waited till the very last minute and uh, need to uh, get their tickets today, they can still get those tickets. So uh, it's Friday, obviously. Tomorrow is the day. Uh, but we're excited. We have a new, uh, a, a new uh, process for our business awards oh. that uh, Elizabeth Hausman put together. So uh, this year I'm pretty excited about the... Uh, the business awards that we're going to do and think we have some really worthy uh we had some amazing nominees and we have some uh wonderful uh, award winners so can't wait to give those out and uh see everybody's surprise so Outstanding. yeah and then the community service award that uh, uh ted wagner does uh there's a great choice there too so i actually got to sit in on that process and it was neat just to hear the conversation and um understand how they make that happen so we're looking forward to the event like i said we've got the tickets available and beth will be there all day till five o'clock and if they want them then come out they get some appetizers and uh some jazz music there's a cash bar and of course we'd love people to dance during the cocktail hour but no one ever does really? <laughs> i would pay somebody to do that i probably shouldn't say that but you know i mean it would be fun it would be fun but a lot of people yeah so we have a jazz band. If anybody, I dare somebody to go out there and do it, that would be fun. Just to have somebody kick off a little bit more fun. So okay. got a great dinner buffet and the awards and everybody will be dressed in their finest and we'll have a great evening. Okay. So we've got that and then uh, we're working on the, the parade. So looking forward, we have a, a, a new um, intern who is from Ball State. Ah. Yeah, she contacted us. She's from uh, the big city of Kiwana. Okay. And uh, Lauren Evers is her name. So she will be <clears throat> coming to us May 15th. Uh, she's going to be working on the parade for us to get all those details together and to put her uh, new skills that she's learned in college um, and uh, rebrand that for us. So we're looking forward to her arrival and all the hard work. So we close off the gala and then have to pick up the parade. So never a dull moment. You but say, no rest for the weary. <laughs> no rest for the weary. So except for a little vacation to, uh, to, to Florida. But... So we're looking forward to that. That's on June 24th. That's a Saturday in the morning. So all the details we will be working out when Lauren gets here. So that will be next. And then we should, uh, everyone should have received their uh, member certificates and plaques. Aaron Brooks, who is the intern from the high school while I was on vacation, I sent him out to a few folks to get, to get those out there. And so everybody has their membership plaques because the membership drive is over. We gave everybody till April and so if you've joined, you've joined, and uh, you can still join if you want to. So but that doesn't mean you can't join. Doesn't mean you can't join. No, um, unfortunately, it does mean that the system makes you inactive on the website. But you can always call back if you've forgotten the invoice, if the dog ate it, if it got lost on a pile of paper, flushed down the toilet, whatever happened. Uh, every excuse is available. Um, just come back, and we'll get you back on there. It's as easy as a click of a button. So with the new system. Um, but right now we got the member certificates and the the member plaques, and we'll get those out and. After the gala and after we get settled a little bit, I'm going to start doing the personal visits to everybody and drop those off. Getting excited. Okay. Some people I haven't seen. So uh, we also have an event coming up, a business after hours at Geneva Center, and that will be uh, May 4th. All right. So head on out there. They're working hard to try to continue to build their brand as they came out from under the uh, Presbyterian designation and then are the nonprofit. Okay. Uh, for people who don't know, what is a business after hours? A business after hours is basically an opportunity to show, if you're a chamber member, it's an opportunity to show off your business. 
and to basically let folks know what you have going on and allow them to see, do a tour, understand. Uh, for other chamber members, it's an opportunity to come out and be a little bit nosy if you want to. Yeah. Um, and also to network with other folks. A lot of good connections are made there. It's, you know, people over uh, food or a beverage make more natural connections, I feel like, than uh, oh, yeah. during the business you know when you're rested and uh, it's, always been that it's yeah I think it's fun uh, we have good attendance which I'm grateful for community members are allowed to come in addition folks who are interested in learning a bit more about chamber membership it's a free event anybody can come so uh, we welcome them to come out and see the Geneva Center there's so much going on that's the uh, really neat thing we had a gentleman uh, a few months ago who came out from LA uh, he was an advertising um, agency interested in advertising uh, the Geneva Center. He came out, uh, met with uh, Ted Denton and myself. I went out to the Geneva Center and he said, this is a gem in the middle of uh, nowhere. Right. Uh, so, but he, um, yeah, I think he sees it in a way that many of us don't. So I think there's a lot of opportunities out there. So come check it out, come have a, I think they're having snobble tier, serve wine and cheese. Okay. So what of course that, that increases the attendance because everybody right. likes an adult beverage and yep. to go out there and enjoy an afternoon of um, networking. Outstanding. So, got all that going on, and um, of course, we're still working on the tool talk. That's helping people to understand their member uh, benefits to their membership. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's on our um, <coughs> the YouTube channel, the Fulton County Chamber YouTube channel. So Beth does a great job getting those on there. We have lots of folks who have watched that and uh, checked it out. So it's a neat opportunity for folks to actually see. So they read the document, and most people just glaze over when they're looking at a document, but when you see it on the video um, and help to understand uh, more what the benefit is. And this uh, coming up, uh, we'll have the one for business after hours that we're going to do. So we interviewed uh, Bob Peterson and uh, the folks at Logan Sort Memorial. So we did an offsite tool talk because people get bored hearing my voice. So I'd rather have them ha see somebody else. So uh, we had some on-site actors that we talked into doing one of those tool talks for us so uh got a lot to going on with the chamber uh i'm glad to be back and get back in the swing of things and get a million emails answered and keep moving um but the big thing is the gala so that's what we're going to focus yeah. on today make sure we've got everything ready and um make sure we can put on a good event tomorrow and then the tourism that's been something that's been uh, heating up a little bit. We had the official, before I left for vacation, the official appointments made. Uh, they were done by Mayor Ted Denton and uh, by the county commissioners. So we have our team of seven folks who will come together on April 25th and start getting that ball rolling and, and start moving on the grant applications again and the um, choosing how we're going to more fully use the tool of tourism that has been kind of on the back burner because we have a million things to get done. Right. So we've reestablished it. It's a better process, working on some of the internal workings and structure, and uh, we'll get that rolling. And hopefully by the end of the year, we'll have that set in motion and, and being a better tool that we can use more effectively. Lots of places have the tourism that they do some great stuff that we haven't yet tapped into. So looking forward to the team and we've got Do some we work with area counties around us at all on? On the tourism? Yeah, because every year I hear people ask the same question. You've got all these people driving New England to see the leaves turn. They're <laughs> yeah. spending a bunch of money. And I know from raking my yard, we have plenty of colored <laughs> leaves here in Indiana. So Amen. that's just one example. And you've got all these reservoirs around here and it yeah. just seems like they could work together and put things together with the best of each, and I didn't know we were doing that. We hadn't really been doing that, but that's what some of what we desire to do. Uh, okay. we, we've been doing a lot of research, um, I and uh, a couple other folks, um, just some research on what, we've been to Marshall County Tourism, we've been to Wabash County Tourism. Uh, speaking, I went and visited the Indiana State Tourism Office down in Indianapolis, spoke to some of those folks and made some good connections. So uh, there's a lot that we're missing out on. There's a lot of tools that we didn't even know were available, and some of them are actually at no cost, especially with the State Tourism Office. Mm -hmm. So I like to make decisions from a team perspective. I think one person can make only a certain amount of decisions, but surrounding yourself with a great team, you can make better decisions and more uh, well-rounded. So. I wanted to get my main goal was to get those uh, appointees in and and I we have our line items so on the 25th we've got a lot to go through and uh, decide on a few things but we're gonna start doing some of those partnerships because we're missing out 
Right. There's so much. This place is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Anybody who comes here falls in love with it. We don't see it that way always, but other folks who come here love it. So we don't, we don't want to miss out on the potential possibility to have more money coming in. Supports the businesses, supports the community be able to build that community. So like you said, New England has leaves, so do we. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're, we're just not making the leaves uh, seem as uh, appealing as New England, obviously. Apparently, we're yeah. missing out on that. <laughs> so that's where we have some marketing uh, geniuses that we've added to the team that can really look at what, are we, what do we need to uh, focus on those niche markets? How do we choose what our identity is and what tools and mediums do we use to be able to multiply our message uh, with the limited resources that we have? But if you have a good team and uh, you have um, people that are tenacious, you can get anything done. So we are working on a video and the website. So obviously every takes, everything takes a little bit longer to get done here. Um, and so the website, we were hoping to have it done by January, but everyone's so busy. We got to get all the information and collect that, mm -hmm. the content, getting it from the different folks. So uh, we're hoping to have everything rolled out by the summer. Uh, to be able to have a video uh, about Fulton County that potentially Landon Smith is helping us with. Uh, you've seen the videos on all these other websites. People, Argus did an, an amazing video. Matt Sutton sent it to me. It made Argus uh, look like a mecca. And so being able to have the ability to sell yourself is really important. So through video, through the website, through uh, publications, that's what we're hoping to do. And, We've got a lot of good people. We just need to get everybody moving in the same direction and just put our heads down and get it done. Once the gala's over and I have my new intern here, we'll have a lot more time to try to make that work and we'll have seven or six, I'm the seventh, six new people to make things happen. So people should get excited of what we're gonna do and keep moving forward. Excellent. So never a dull moment, but we like it. Outstanding, yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't want it to be boring. No, 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 uh, Again, no. we're speaking with Amy Rowe, the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, what else do we have? Do we have anything else we need to cover? Or? You know, no, we just, like I said, the main thing today that we're working on is just that gala. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, obviously gala's the uh, forefront of our brain. Just, you know, everybody panics right at the last minute. Do we get this done? Do we get that done? Do, you know, all the little details, making sure that those are done. But once we get there and... Uh, get our pretty dresses on and everybody's got their hair done and their nails done it'll all it all turns out so after saturday sunday of course we're going to rest monday we'll be back at it and keep moving so just keep your eyes peeled for the uh membership plaques that's the the main thing i know a lot of people ask about that and want to know when they're coming so they are coming we okay. promise they will be there so and if you need anything ever from us just check us out give us a call 574-224-2666 Stop by or check out FultonCountyChamber.com. There's a lot okay. of good and information. Your, uh, office is 822 Main Street. Right across from the courthouse on the west side. Amen. If you want to be nosy. Outstanding. Yep. Outstanding. So, Thanks, Amy, for your time. Thank you always for allowing us to share our story. No problem. It's 1024 at 92.1 WROI.